So uh, we have a question about uh, from from the audience about whether it's possible for foreigners to apply f on some kind of joint program with a local Chinese uh, research or, uh, organization, not necessarily universities. So I know, like um, on jobs.ac.uk, there are also other institutions that are possible. So maybe like with corporations or with science groups. So maybe Liang, you can tell us a little bit about that. So. I the answer is yes. So they have, we have fundings for those type of international collaborations. So one part is for industry, and some, some you know, some Chinese cities have uh, so-called high-tech industrial parks, so they can host this type of collaborations. Uh, for and uh, for academic uh, internationally international research collaborations, so uh, the NSFC also has some funding for that. Um, the problem is that you have to look for the Chinese partners first. Mm. So because they have to lead the applications. So uh, that could be a, a, a problem. So you cannot simply find someone on ResearchGate. That's not possible. Mm. <laughs> uh, one of the good way out is that, OK, if the foreign uh, faculties have visitors from China, talk to them. Uh, if they have a, you know, a common interest, they can you know, plan for it. So this this kind of a, this kind of collaborations, uh, I would say is quite a personal. It's personalized. It's not like we can we cannot simply you know do in Western countries like we post something on Twitter or Facebook and find the collaborators. But then we have to to be this has to be done in a more, much more principled way. 